Hello. Hey, Valtopia. Hey, honey, this is Val Cripps. I'm out here walking with my dog, K-Boss. I'm here in Venice. Um, for those of you who know me, hey, honey, how's, how's it going? And if I'm just popping up into your feed, I, I help myself and others learn how to expand into new paradigms of life, overcoming subconscious limitations, body fears, irrational thoughts, uh, spiritual embodiment. There's all kinds of ways that I help my clients become who they really are and lose who they really aren't. And so I really want to talk about this today because I went through this for so many months and it was so painful as an entrepreneur, um, as, a, as a woman who had to leave a situation that didn't feel right to me and finally own up to certain aspects of my responsibility in terms of setting boundaries and owning my presence. I had a nice girl complex and a people pleasing perfectionistic complex. Like I really don't want to, didn't want to ruffle any feathers. I wanted to be a good girl. Like essentially I was really trained really well in the program. And this is what's the same for my clients. Hello, if you're just joining. It's like inside of us, we have who we are, who we're born to come and be. And often it's quite disruptive because we're very creative and gifted. And we have, we have a mission. We have a, a, a vision of change that we're bringing with our personality, with our genetic code, with our story. And so we experience this dichotomy of our own innate desires and that of the program, the program that's running on in us, the good girl program, the one that makes you want to just really get along and create harmony and you're trained to believe that's by plugging into and keeping up with and honoring the program the program whatever cultural program religious and spiritual program you've been birthed into and truly inside of you is a, a an honoring of what you brought to bring through the program that's inside of you and <clears throat> What happens to a lot of clients who are building their entrepreneurial business, um, and oftentimes many of us get into this business because we're at a crossroads in our life and we can no longer live in the program. Like either we're physically ill or mentally ill or our life is just really intolerable because much as we've tried to adapt and adopt the program, we haven't aligned to the program and the program is not aligning to us and it manifests as body problems and everything that I've just mentioned. And so when we finally begin doing the work and we may do many years of work to lose the program, to really trust ourselves and to be who we truly are. And we find ourselves not wanting to lose the program, even though that's the very thing we have decided to do. Like we're literally addicted and so habituated to the rules and the standards and the structures that we've been told to, that when we finally decide to invest in ourselves and and make the changes that we want to. We experience this elation when we first invest, this high, and then we experience a deeper part of ourselves, and then everything in us goes, oh my God, oh no, I'm dying. The program gets sets off a trigger reaction to retract and recoil back into place. Like, no, 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 don't you dare expand into the unknown. Let's get back to where you were. And inevitably, almost all of my clients experience a sort of a dark night of the soul moment where they have felt that high and now that now they're disconnected from it. And now they think, what did I do? Why did I? And this isn't exclusive to my programs. This is part of expansion, of course, of expanding beyond what you've known and releasing identities and beliefs and personas. And so what happens is you're doing the work and you're doing awesome. And then just like me and just like my clients, you'll get experience these deep moments of shame where you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm investing money in myself. What if it doesn't work out? What if I don't do it the way I think? And you look around and you see the hard, the hard difficulties you're going through to reach your goals and to learn new things you've never done before and to develop skills in many areas that you've never done and maybe you're not very good at and you do it and you get better and better and you're building your stuff but you're looking and you're not getting the exact results that you claimed or you desired right away you're coming into it 
and your ego mind starts tripping and you start beating yourself up because you're a good little girl and you want to do the right thing and then you find yourself going back to the program and then feeling like shit and so you're spending all this energy derailing and you're not doing your work you're not doing the work of deeping deep breaths all the new stuff that you've just learned that liberated you and exhilarated you and connected you to your cosmic brilliance and you felt the changes and you felt the shift and then suddenly you don't believe it works you don't believe any of it worked and you can't believe you fucking just spent a few thousand dollars to lift yourself up and it's all bullshit and you can't believe you did this so this is why we record everything we record every conversation we record every session we have everything is documented because our mind wants to trip us up and say no you didn't no you didn't grow at all that's bullshit let's crawl right back into that hole we know mm -mm. get back on the program <laughs> get back on the good girl program and so if you feel, find yourself feeling a discomfort and yet trying to do the right thing and feeling a lot of resentment or anger or frustration take a look at where you're not honoring who the fuck you really are and you're trying to do the right thing, which uh, I got news for you. It's called taking responsibility for who you really are and bringing that through. Not just saying, well, I'm just doing the program. Why isn't it working? Because you're not supposed to be on the program. You were born to shift the program. You were born to open up the program in a way that opens up not only your life, but your family's life, your client's life, and everything about you. Because the program isn't anybody's. It's not ours, it's not yours. You get to find out what your program is and blossom up into that. And the more you do, the easier things get, the easier it all happens. But it is not easy to delete and detach from the program. And that's where people think that it's always going to be a process of detaching and disconnecting from the program. And in some sense, it is. That's your pattern. That's your DNA pattern that you came to shift and be. Or either be in it your whole experience of life or change it and expand up into it into a way that is illuminating and expansive for you and everybody around you to glow up and but the pattern gets easier because you tend to know yourself and you're aligning your life more to you and you're letting go of the program that makes you feel guilty and shameful and stupid for doing exactly what you were born to come and be and do you feel me on this <sighs> that's exactly the message i wanted to bring through <laughs> and i it's the message i went off on one of my clients yesterday to bring her back around because I know what it's like to forget. I kept forgetting over and over and I would invest and I would make a certain headway and get to know more of me, which is great. It does That doesn't go away, but every day and week that you spend hiding because you're feeling guilt and shame for doing exactly what you've been guided to do and what you're actually growing into and that in the big scheme of things is a tiny investment of money compared to the growth that you're experiencing in your life you've got to take assessment of where you are and stay focused on the outcomes you desire and the intentions you're setting and the big vision that keeps you on the arc instead of stopping at every blip and freaking out about you know uh, things that you've been programmed they're bad habits they're bad it is a bad habit to sit around and worry and kvetch you know complain about your situation we think we're doing a good thing in many cultures when we sit and present, you know, we come in and get a cup of coffee and sit down and everybody puts their shit on the table. Oh, here's my shit. Oh, here's my shit. Here's my shit. Eh, it's never working out, you know, and everybody sits around and it's terrible. You want to come in and do all that stuff by yourself and work all that through. And when you come to the table, you want to sit at a table of people who goes, here's my shit. <laughs> Here's my shit, or here's my shit, and this is what I'm doing with my shit. Not here's my shit, and it's never going to work. You know, that's a bad habit. And we think we're doing something towards creating betterment for ourselves when we're sitting there worrying about it. And that's the worst thing you can do. Create, don't ruminate every moment of that energy. Either spend time healing why you feel that way and going into the belief you desire, you know? or completely, sorry, I lost my train of thought, but you really want, <laughs> I got like just totally distracted by something. So thank you for watching. You wanna spend your energy, your moments, believing in yourself and spending energy actually creating what you desire, not energy sitting around, looking at the moment that you're in, deciding that's all there's ever gonna be and that's all you ever get. Because if that's what you decide and sit around and think about, well, there you go, that's what you got. 
So I gotta run, my kids are upstairs. It's my son's birthday. And I just wanted this message to come through. If you want one-to-one -one care and guidance, deep guidance, um, that's what it takes sometimes to break through these. It took me a lot, it took me a lot because I was really stubborn and really scared and protective of myself. And uh, every time anybody would get close to any of the stuff that would actually give me a breakthrough, I pushed them away. And so if you have that personality and uh, you need some, some firm standards, and a good boundaries and boss bitch is gonna <laughs> kick your ass when you need it and you're pulling that shit i got you queen <laughs> you're not fucking with me <laughs> i am very loving and lit up but your spirit guides will come through me like a bolt of lightning and crack your ass back into action there is no room for the program on my program <laughs> there's only loving what it is and integrating those parts of you that used to be derailed from who you really are. So we just really remembering who you are and, and, and you're the one deciding what those standards are. You're the one deciding what your goals are. I'm just there to help you back you up and keep you standing up strong and up into what you've decided you're gonna do. We're gonna honor your commitments. We're gonna look at your relationships in your life and we're gonna really take care to guide your energy and teach you how to guide that yourself in a way you've never done before. None of my clients have ever felt the grounding like we do. They have never felt the level of bliss connection that we get to. And it's because we, we reach a deep level of clarity. And that clarity provides just so much memory of who they already are. And that catapults them into that high that I was talking about. And so then when you go into the inevitable, holy shit, I've, how can I keep this up? I'm right there with you telling you why and who you are. Reminding you who you are because I know that once you get through those gnarly layers, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful to trust yourself and back yourself. And I've seen so many clients come to that other side and just be like, oh my gosh, I get it. I understand what an intention is now. I really get it now. I really understand how, what it means. I used to teach this and I wasn't even really teaching it. I really get it now. And so that's the other thing, when you invest in yourself, because you wanna charge more and have a better life and you're already doing so much for your clients, you need to improve your skills, honey. You need to invest in uh, opening up what you know and having deeper, more impactful uh, experiences with your clients in order to make that headway. It doesn't happen without you taking that action first and knowing that you're being backed, that you're being stretched, that you're pushing yourself in ways that you're expecting your clients to. If you want your client, if you want your clients to pay you up front and full, well then you'd best be doing, you know, inviting, you know, you'd best be doing that for yourself. If you, there's standards in your business that you like, then you need to create that situation for yourself and call it in. You don't need to do anything, but that's been my experience. <laughs> You never need to do anything. And you know, that's the thing. When you watch any of us talking on these videos about our stuff, you must have discernment for what's applied for you and what's not, obviously. And that's, you know, there's so many different ways to do things. And that's why I like the way I guide my clients. It's not about me telling you what to do or having some cookie cutter recipe about it. It's about us spending some deep focused time getting through the stuff that you don't want to do, that your little girl is stubborn and thinks she can run away from, and that your ancient <laughs> priestess inside is afraid she's going to get killed for, and the stuff that your mom told you you could, you know, all that stuff is playing fuckery with your business and your life in the back of the scenes, and you don't even know it. And we clean that all up. Ooh, look at me all <laughs> out of breath. <laughs> the block. Who's here with me? Hi, Tanya. Uh, hey, Sherry. Who's still here? I see three people are on here for now. I've been seeing people pop on and off. So that's my message today. I'm super grateful I was able to walk around the block. I got to go make sure my kids are cool. And um, go to Valtopia.com and apply. There's one spot left for the glow up at 5K for six weeks. Once, it, once that spot is booked, everyone's rolling into programs. And my, my, my roster is full because I only take three clients at once. Hello, hey Leah, how are you? It's good to see you. So listen, I only have those three clients and it's perfect because right now I have two and so we've, we've already really gotten into it with the first two. 
So the third person to roll in is going to be coming in at the perfect time. And it is a sacred circle. I do want a triangle, a trio of clients. I've always wanted the three. And um, that feels right to me. And then I do groups or drops and things like that on the spur of the moment. And maybe, you know, little one hour things here and there. But mostly my whole focus are those three clients because artwork comes through, toning comes through, bongos. We have on the spot phone calls where clients are like, you know, like I just take a break and we walk around and work through it in 10 minutes. Something that could have fucked you up for two weeks or a month. We work through it. And we don't just wash it under the rug. We work through it, honey. We work through it. You know? And you you might be scared or a little awkward in the first week or so. And we get right, we rip the band-aid off and we get right into it. I love doing this work because it's my freedom. It's your freedom. It's your children's freedom. It's your client's freedom. It fucking works. It's beautiful. I'm so blessed to have made it as far as I have. And let me tell you, I spend a lot of money and time not trusting myself and being scared and then going the other way. And I'm so grateful I stayed the course. I'm so grateful I stayed the course. Hey, Rianne, there she is. That my lady. So listen, I've been on for a minute. You're gonna wanna watch this. You're gonna totally be like, oh, I know what you're talking about. Um, but I gotta get back upstairs. I've been out here too long. I've got some kids upstairs by themselves. They're probably shooting darts in the hallway of his nothing. <laughs> the neighbors or something. So I love you guys. I'll be back on as soon as the urge hits. And I do have an amazing event for $111 coming up. It's gonna be next weekend. I'm going to drop the stuff as soon as I'm kid free and I can really make sure everything's right and all the links work and everything. And we're going to have spend some time together working through exactly everything that I talk about on my live streams so that more of you can break through this stupid barrier of doubt and fear and guilt and shame that we can all throw that cloak off and be ourselves and shine and glow the cloak up. So own your frequency supernova. There's nobody like you. See you next time.